The trouble is we think we have time. In India, monkey hunters go out to capture monkeys, obviously. And the way they go about doing that is they get a coconut and they chop off one end and create a hole just big enough for the monkey to get its hands through. And at the other end of the coconut, they, they put two holes and they stick a wire through those two holes and they go out into the forest. They find a tree and they, and they wrap the wire around the tree down at the base, at the bottom of the tree. And inside of the coconut, they put a little piece of banana. And then they go away for a while. Monkey comes along, looks in there, sees the banana, sticks his hand in, and grabs the banana. But once his hand is in there, he can't get it out now because he's got a hold of the banana. And monkey's brains are hardwired never to let go of food. So he won't let it go and he can't escape. And so he starts to howl, he starts to cry. The monkey hunter hears it and he goes and he captures the monkey. Now, all the monkey has to do not to get caught, not to get captured, not to have the guy grab him, is to let go of the banana. But again, the monkey's brain's hardwired never to let go of food. So he doesn't, and he can't get out, and he gets captured. And for some of us, the banana is our job, or it's another person, or it's anger. Could be any number of things. And we grab a hold of it, and we don't let go, and we get caught, we get captured. And all we have to do not to get caught or captured is to let go. Debbie's gone. Like a steam locomotive rolling down the track, she's gone. She's gone and nothing's going to bring her back. I think I've gone through most of the five stages of grief. I'm not sure. Uh, but I know that that grief, the suffering, all of that is a banana that I've grabbed a hold of. And in order to move forward, I have to let go. There's a lot of things that are helping me let go. I'm not going to forget her. I love her. I always will. And I love all the things we did together. But I have to keep going. Life goes on within you and without you. And there's one of the people that I didn't mention that's been really helpful for me is Val. Val has done, she's gone over and above trying to help me, and she's done a really good job. Another thing that's super helped me is you guys. Uh, I, I get comments, posts down below all the time on things to help me keep going. There are people who are also grieving, who are commenting down below, um, and we respond to one another. And uh, I have to move on. Another person that's been really helpful is my friend Mirabai Bush. When she found out what was going on, she sent me this book. I got it today. She wrote this book with Ram Das. It's called Walking Each Other Home, Conversations on Loving and Dying. And you can bet I'm going to read it. So 
there's been a lot of people reacting to my videos on the grief that I'm experiencing. Some of them have been really, really helpful. And some of them have been WTF? There was one person who responded by saying, Democrats censor. And I'm thinking, what's that got to do with Debbie dying and my grief? And I've worked very hard to keep politics out of this, this YouTube channel. Nevertheless, <laughs> I did delete that one. <laughs> Many of you who are experiencing grief have really identified with what I'm saying. And um, it's important to remember that we have to move beyond grief. We really do. Some of the comments have been very clear that they, they feel that by continuing to do this channel, by getting out and doing things, uh, it, it would help me. And I agree with them 100%. You know who would also agree with them 100%? Debbie. So knowing her like I do, I'm, I'm going to continue on, but there is a dilemma that I'll talk about. But before I get into that, I want to let you know that there are several things I'm going to do that will honor her as I continue with this channel. The first is happening next week. I'm going to go to the Oregon Renaissance Fair because we really liked going to the Renaissance Fair. The hard one is going to be going to the Oregon Country Fair, and I am going to the Oregon Country Fair for sure to honor her and our relationship, as well as continuing to go to the shows by the Band of Heathens because that was something that we really enjoyed doing together. Another one is following Caitlin Clark. Uh, she's a rookie um, WNBA basketball player and Debbie was really into Caitlin and, and her accomplishments. So I'm, I'm gonna continue to watch that but especially continuing with this channel, because that's what she would want. But another thing is, what do I do with the channel? You know, I started out this channel as a travel and events blog, and it took me over two years to get a thousand subscribers. And usually I get between, I don't know, uh, 80 to 120 views with each one of my my vlogs. Some of them I get more. Uh, the, for instance, the crack in the ground, I got over 35,000 views. But uh, the fact is, is most of them I get 80 to 120 views. But these ones that I'm doing now where I get really personal about my grief, um, I have to say that uh, it's gone nuts. Uh, the first one I did, it got a thousand views in 24 hours. The last one I did, it got uh, 2,500 views in the first 15 hours. It's already got 7,000 views. And do I do the personal stuff on a different channel? I don't want to handle two channels. So I'm going to occasionally put up these personal vlogs between now and uh, September, and we'll see if I continue with that. Uh, we've got a travel and uh, vlog coming up here uh, very soon, and we've got uh, an events vlog coming up after I get, get back from the Renaissance Fair. I am struggling. I'm going to try not to show struggle during the travel and events piece. But no, I love her. I'll always love her. But 
I have to let go in order to continue. All right? So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.